some of the common troubleshooting techniques to get your snowblower to fire up so you can start moving some snow. Now, a lot of the times there might not be anything wrong with your snowblower at all. You just need to follow the right instructions in order to get it started. Now, the most common issue is people simply just forgetting to put fresh gas inside of their blower. This might have been sitting over for a long winter or a long summer and it might not have snowed for a while. It's the number one issue that I see. If you're still having trouble, you always want to make sure that the oil is in good check. It's been a while since you've done this. Chances are this could need an oil change depending on how old and how long that's been sitting in there. The first step is to make sure that the key is engaged and in the right position and to follow the instructions from there. Turn the choke to the on position and press the prime button two to three times before attempting the pull start. And if all else fails, you can always try the electric start that most of our snowblowers have. You plug this in and you effectively just press this button and it'll turn. <laughs> Still giving you some trouble, I recommend checking the spark plug. Could be a couple different things after this, but a spark plug is also a very common thing that people forget about and forget to maintain year over year. And if your snowblower is still having issues starting up, there might be something more complex going on in which you need an actual professional service. Get it checked out and get a tune up at a local authorized Cub Cadet dealer. As for me, I'm Hope. Follow me for more tips around the yard, and we'll catch you next time.